Not today. tire squeal. I wasn't actually trying to do that. Like seriously, what is wrong with people? Look at this parking lot. I just watched them pull in and like stop back up park next to me. Like what is wrong with people? And it's them. All right, so this is a impromptu parade? No, uh, impromptu focus ST drive. Well, I should say more of a video. I'm taking it to drop it off, the night drop for service tomorrow. We're getting the, we're getting the uh, tire patch, two tires patch actually, unless the tires are old enough to where they just need replaced, at which point I'll replace them. Uh, there's a recall on, I think the, something to do with the fuel tank. Oh, and just like oil change, tire rotation, stuff like that. General maintenance. Now, I knew I was obviously going to do this. I scheduled this appointment a couple days ago, and I had planned that once I got the car back, I was going to wash it again and then do a like exit interview type of drive, like a summary. See, I don't know. I was going to turn the windows up, but man, it's so warm out. Then I'd have to turn the air on. All right, so I don't know where I picked up or where I left off, but I'm taking the ST to get its service. There's a recall and just oil change, uh, just general maintenance. I had this appointment scheduled for a couple months ago. That's right literally when they shut everything down that week. So technically the service center's never closed, but I was like, eh, it's just not worth it. Cause then it was like, well, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't wanna sit in the waiting room or anything. So yeah, here we are. Um, like I had said, I planned to basically do like an exit interview. And then it occurred to me that one of the things I also planned to do was have them appraise this vehicle while it's here, just to see what they would give me because I don't know what Ford's certification limits are, but this has 44,000 miles. They might certify it. Um, so I want, they might give me a little bit more money. I don't know. So I figured, well, on the off chance that they actually offer me a price that I'm happy with, this could technically be like the last drive. I doubt it, but if I didn't make this video, I probably would. So maybe I shouldn't have made the video. Anyways, if you watched the last video, you know I'm selling this. I think I've always been unfair to this car. I always liked these cars, so it was actually something that I, from the onset of when we went to look to buy a new car, I wanted to steer the wifey towards. Uh, she just didn't really like the looks of them, although I found that with myself and with her, sometimes things don't look as good on the internet in pictures, even if they're good photos. Sometimes it just doesn't look as nice as it does. Oh, speaking of the wifey. Well, I s steered her towards this and I think that was the right decision, but I think I've always been kind of, even though not consciously, I think subconsciously, I had to sell an Evo to get this and coming from an Evo to this, it just was never gonna be as good. 
Also, we've owned this car during not a low point by any means, um, but financially kind of a low point. We bought this car right before I quit my job. I knew I was gonna quit my job, so that's why I wanted to buy a brand new car, so that way it was a fixed cost each month. I knew how much to budget for it. Uh, with a used car, even though the Evo was stock, uh, you know, you just never know. Whereas, it was one of the few times in my life where I really did wanna have a warranty on a car, just to peace of mind. And we actually did have to replace the turbo on this, and it was covered under warranty. And that whole period of our lives was a struggle, has been a struggle up until now. Because I quit my job and I gave up all that income and it's taken a while to get the business to a point where basically making more, as much if not more than what I was when I quit my job. Because when I still had my job, I was still doing the business on the side and therefore my income was higher. So when I gave up all that set job income, you know, it was quite a hit. You know, I never intended to mod this car. At the same time, you know, there's a difference between not modding and knowing that you just really can't mod. And I think that too always kind of bothered me. I mean, in retrospect, I'm, I'm glad we didn't. Uh, I mean, I guess going back, maybe like a cat back. You know, this car's always been just so quiet. Um, I mean, it has the piped in like intake noise, so it does sound a little bit better inside. Just try not to do that. And it's not fake noise, it is actually piped in from the engine, but still. I remember when we first got the car, I was behind the wife like a day or so after, and I was like, all right. I called her, I was like, I got the camera ready. I want you to really get on it when you go off this stop sign. And she did, and I was just like, oh, uh, like, I think I caught her. I was like, did you really, like, give it, like, get on it? And she's like, yeah. I was like, oh, well, that sucks. But whatever. Oh, ST. So anyways, the plan is to actually buy another Evo. But we'll talk about that more in another video. Like I said, this is kind of like an exit interview of this car, which is needs cleaned. My biggest complaint has always been the seats. Uh, I'm just, I think I'm at just a weird height. I'm not very tall, I'm not like sure. Like I'm just like, I'm just at like, if I was a little bit shorter, or a little bit taller, I think it would be way more comfortable. It's also part of the reason that I've been reluctant to look at the RS as a replacement. Now if you caught in the last video, we did look at M3, we were considering an M3. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Get back to the, the focus. Anyways. WRX. Um, but yeah, I mean, as a car that I didn't want to have to spend any money on, the stereo's decent. I mean, it's not gonna, you know, shake the neighborhood, but it sounds good and clean, especially for how much this car costs. I've owned more expensive cars where the stereo didn't sound this good. The wife did say she is gonna miss the hatch, which, you know, I get it. She's always been partial to the hatches. I, I mean, I like their usefulness. I've just never cared for the look of hatchbacks. I love the steering wheel, the flat bottom, it looks cool. That's the thing with this interior. Now the dash is ugly. Uh, I don't know what Ford's thinking with this, but generally speaking, the interior as a whole is pretty nice. I mean, yeah, it's plasticky and stuff, but it's, you know, they just kept it black and simple. I love that the headliner's black and that the visors are black. It was one of the first things I noticed when we got in it. And while I don't particularly like sitting in the seats, they are nice to look at. They're not as good as the Eurospec seats, but thankfully I didn't know those existed until, I don't know, a few months ago. It gets me every time. Why is it like this? I mean, I guess it's like that because of that pole, but. Oh, wifey's here with the FJ. I don't know, I guess she's got the pups too. I would have, uh, maybe not. Yep, they're in there. Oh, hi Enzo. <gasps> you could tell he was not expecting to see me. Oh, this says exit. All right, so got a lot of this stuff emptied out. 
Oh yeah, I wanna take this in case I have to put the pups into Evo for some emergency. I should have it back t probably tomorrow, Tuesday at the latest. Buddy. Hi. Hi. Oh, bless you. Lotus is so unhappy right now. He's like, why is he so loud? Considering selling the FJ, which is has completely to do with the pups, as you may remember, the FJ's got a few issues that I've yet to fix and I've kind of been contemplating what I'm gonna do. Like, I mean, ultimately I'm gonna fix them, but it's like, all right, do I, how far do I wanna keep going with this? I wanna fix them to where normal people would be happy with it, just make everything work again and be good. Or do I wanna go a little crazier and like modify it maybe, or you know, who knows what? So I keep going back and forth and so then it's like, well, what would I get? to replace it if not an FJ. If I want something where the back windows go down, obviously leads to a Jeep. I'm not sure they're a little smaller. I mean, they're a lot smaller than the FJ. I think, I don't know if they're too small than what I would want. I've driven them in the past. It's been a long time. Uh, most of that was with the two door, not the four door. I would obviously get the four door. I want a Raptor, but that's just what a good low mileage Raptor costs. It's like you can get a brand new Jeep and it's like, like it just seems like it kind of makes more sense. I don't know. All right, I know it's silly, but I moved the car because I just, I could not park that close to other cars. I hate this dealership. I've been here a couple times and I just like, it's so congested. But I'm, I'm just, I'm not here to like, drive anything or anything. I just want to look at them because I haven't looked at them since they redesigned them in 2018. Checking out a Gladiator. I'm not sure if they're bigger in the back. Kind of, I know they're longer overall. But is the actual like interior space bigger? I don't know. Don't ever buy this kind of crap. My gosh. Well, that's not happening, that's for sure. Who would buy this over a Raptor for 62 grand? If you care that much about off I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason, but it's like if you care that much about off roading, if you care that much about off roading, why not just get like a cheap Jeep and then like a truck? I'm gonna open this door back so I can talk without the wind. I wanna go a little bit farther this way, but I'm afraid because I'm getting too close to the entrance and Nobody knows I'm on the lot yet, and I would like to keep it that way. I also like that they're all unlocked. That's nice. We looked at one of these. I'm gonna, I'll show some photos of the outside, but I'm gonna talk on the inside here because of the wind. Uh, this is the Willys edition. I think it has like some upgraded suspension stuff. Otherwise, it's pretty basic inside. I mean, it's even got like crank windows, which, uh, yeah, I don't know that I would want to deal with that necessarily. It's one thing in my car, I don't know that I would want to deal with this, something that would drive this much. But they're nice, they're, you know, they come with everything blacked out, all the wheels, dark green paint, a little bit more reasonable price. I like that the grill's all blacked out. But I mean, ultimately, I think I would want something more along the lines of the gray, but I wouldn't want a Sahara like this one. Because that's like the luxury model. It's locked. Got the fancy touch screen. Still 46. That's that's a lot. If they were the same price, I would consider it just for the fact that it's bigger. I also kind of like the idea that pups being closer to us. It's one thing I definitely miss about being having them in a car. And the other thing without power windows is or with power windows is that I could lower them or, or raise, or more likely raise them when I know Lotus might bark at something. Sales guy walked by. I've literally been sitting here pretending to be looking at this. I'm very fascinated by how this works. Three, jeez. This has got all like the leather stuff. Oh look, a pup's already been in this one. Yeah, I mean, you can like literally hose out these interiors. All right, the one thing I do worry is that these seats aren't very like long. 
I'm worried that like it wouldn't be long enough for the pups to actually sit there comfortably. Now they could sit more sideways, I guess, but that is actually a concern. All right, I gotta walk by the front door to get out of here though. Just don't make eye contact, keep moving. Ooh, manager special code for, we will rip you off the most. Back in the Evo. Um, I do really, cons I am really concerned about how wide the seats are. I don't know that those would be wide enough. Now I've seen like things you can buy to like extend the length of seats. So there might be some sort of solution there I could look into because that really is like one of the biggest limiting factors so far. Um, price is obviously, I mean, I wouldn't buy new. I, I couldn't really see myself buying new. I don't like buying new cars. I've done it a few times, but I don't like it. If you get the impression that I hate car dealerships and salesmen, it's not that I hate them. It's just, I've had some good experiences, but I've had a lot of bad experiences. Um, and it's just because like, I know a lot about finance and, and everything and they come out and they just want to try to, tr I don't want to say want to trick you, but like they assume you don't know. And it's like, I know interest rates. I know how the financing works. I know how they can, like, I know all the places where they can make money and I don't care if they make money, but don't lie to me about it. And that's when I catch them lying to me is when I have the issue. And I think they do it because they just assume like, I don't know, um, but you should never lie. And that's the biggest thing is as soon as I catch them in a lie, I don't even necessarily call them out on it, but as soon as I catch them in a lie, it's like, well, you're already lying to me about this stuff you think I don't know. What else would you potentially lie to me that I don't know if you're lying? So more thinking is needed. You good? You good? Yeah, I don't have the ND filter on, so it's a little bright. I need to adjust the settings. I was freaking out. I disinfected her car, sprayed it down, and wiped it pretty quick, and then kind of did it again. Uh, but it still managed to make like a mark on the steering wheel column. So I was freaking out, like, how did that happen? But it went away. So I don't know. It just must have been residue of the cleaner. Um, it freaked me out. I was like, seriously, there's like nothing that needs to fix on this car, and then this. Well, that's not entirely true. I still gotta do something about the tires or sell them at, or sell it at a cheaper price. Somebody can just get tires themselves, I guess. So not really shocking, but I didn't get the offer that I wanted. I don't know that I even had a number. They offered me 14, which I was, that was where I expected. I guess I was just maybe hoping that being a Ford dealer, they might offer a little bit more. Um, but then again, I don't really know what other people are offering. Maybe if I went to like CarMax, they'd offer me, you know, 13.5, I don't know. Either way, 14 is just a little too low. They seem to be listing for sale anywhere from 17 to 21, maybe 22. I think if I put this up for 16.5 or something, like I should have no problem selling it. 90 degrees and I am rolling up the windows just to make the audio better. Why not, Tacoma? All right, now that we've got the car back though, it's pretty much ready to be sold. It's still, their tires were just insane. They wanted like almost, it was gonna be pushing with tax like over $900. Why do you get in front of me if you're not gonna move? So I wasn't gonna do that. Uh, you know, I looked on Tire Rack with free shipping. I can get four tires for like 450 bucks. Usually the mountain balance in a line is around 50 to 100, so we'll call it 550. Um, I might put tires on, I might just, you know, 
knock off a little bit on the price. You know, that's why I'm thinking more like 16.5 instead of 17. So I've got a, plenty of exterior photos. What I don't have is some recent interior photos really. So go home, well I gotta stop at the PO box for the pups. I know there's some stuff there I need to pick up. Otherwise, we'll go home, clean up the interior. It's fairly clean, it's a little dusty, so I'd like to just straighten it up a little bit. I might wash the whole car, honestly. It's so covered in pollen, even though it's just gonna get recovered. And then um, take some photos. Out here washing the car. Oh, you were gonna come, you heard the camera click? Yeah. My helper's here, hiding inside. Oh, cause it's a little too warm. Watch out, Lotus. Yeah, you should never wash a car in sunlight, by the way. Makes it a million times harder. And if you're not using the right soap, you could really create a havoc for yourself as far as like water spots. But sometimes it's hard to take your own advice. Oh, come on, boys. I'm, I'm dying. Let's go in. Oh, 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 oh,